What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're in North Las Vegas today. We're on full self-driving supervised or supervised full self-driving. It's 12.3.4. This is 2024.3.15. Let's go ahead and turn it on and do some city streets routing here in North Las Vegas. It already looks like we're going to be doing our first U-turn on our route. Not too sure how that's going to work. Let's see if we have some other routes we can change into. Let's go ahead and change it to this route. So on the fly changing, we're going to be making a right at this stop sign. And I hope you guys have been doing great. If uh, you're enjoying the videos, hit subscribe, hit that like button, and definitely leave me your feedback below. I love your feedback. I think one of the last feedbacks I got was uh, if you go to navigate, let's close that. I guess I would have to end trip, but if you go on navigate, you can either hit get lucky or I'm hungry and the car will route you to a destination. So I'm gonna try that on some future videos. Uh, shout out to whoever left that comment. I do appreciate it. Let's check our settings, go into autopilot. We got it on chill, minimal lane changes off, and the auto set speed. Let's go ahead and turn it to uh, assertive. Going forward for the FSD videos, I think I'm gonna leave the minimal lane changes uh, not engaged, so keep it off. Just so it we see the behaviors of FSD, it's just too hard to gauge. If I needed slow down on lane changes, I'll use a chill average and assertive. And that was another comment I got yesterday that really had me thinking about that. So on our drive, we got seven and a half miles, 12 minutes. Now this is a two-way intersection. We got cross traffic. I cannot see to my left. All right, we are clear to the left now and clear to the right, and there's a car right behind us going, let's go. And we're going. I went ahead and disengaged there. There was a big lock right in the road, and I just didn't want to run over it. So we won't count that as a disengagement. I don't know if FSD would have went around it, but that was a large padlock. I wasn't about to find out what it felt like. All right, let's see where we're going. So it looks like we're going to be taking a right here on Losi and then jumping on the freeway. This is a pretty easy freeway drive to, to, to take, though, so we're not going to take... Oh, okay, I disengaged again. I saw this guy coming out without stopping and the cone. I probably should have let FSD try it, but that kid scared me. And we were heading right for that cone. Yeah interesting out here in North Las Vegas. All right, let's see if there's any other routes. I don't want to take that first route, so let's go ahead and take a left here. I kind of do want to route it through some of the city streets. The highway, highways are cool if you got a multi-lane highway with a lot of traffic, but this 215 is too smooth. You'll fall asleep. Big rock in the road. We did miss it. We get, did get into the correct lane. Now this almost looks like the Chuck Cook left turn. Let's see what we can see here. All right, we are clear to the left and clear to the right after this truck. We should go right now. And we are. Got the median here, staying nice and clear away from it. Nobody behind us. Merging over two lanes. Nice and smooth. So yeah, definitely leave me your feedback below. If you've been on FSD, let me know it's how it's driving in your city. Vegas, I thought it was going to be very difficult, but this new version 12 is just spectacular. It's not perfect, that's for sure, but it's getting damn good. Right around the turn, smoothly, nice and aggressive. Merging lanes. Wow, what a great behavior. I like that. Kind of cut the corner there on that lane change a little bit. Now I did see on X someone was talking about it cutting corner, saying how humans do that all the time. Well, not necessarily. Not every corner. I mean, there's certain corners that I will cut, but in general, I think I stay in the lane. Because I tell you what, it only took me one time. It was about 15 years ago in North Las Vegas. I went over the line just a little bit, and the darn cop pulled me over and wrote me a ticket for it. I mean, I was in a little Honda Civic with loud exhaust, so. That didn't help, but that made me learn that you gotta stay away from those lane lines. If you if you ride over the lane line, you can get a ticket. Let's see if we have any other routes here. Let's go ahead and add a route over here, and then it'll reroute us a little bit.
tire the reroutes in. What's interesting is, I don't know if this is a bug or not, but on the reroutes, well, it does show, okay, it's something new then, maybe a new feature, but it'll show the reroute and then it'll show the, the old route in blue. So I feel like in the past it would show the lines going everywhere. All right, we've made our turn. Nice wide open road and we are pathing to the middle. We're taking a left turn here. No stop sign. We do have cross traffic stopped on the left. Actually, we're not turning. We're going to the next one. We were slowing down for the dips. Yeah, so every day I've been using this new V12, pretty sweet. Currently I am on the free trial, so if you've been waiting for that free trial, hopefully it comes soon. Hopefully you don't have to wait too much longer. Waiting for V12 is like, or FSD updates. Okay, disengaged again right there. Another huge rock in the road. This one was about that big. I wasn't about to hit that one either. Wow. All right, we are clear on all sides going through this intersection. Nice and tight on the inside lane. Did have to correct there for a second. Got some construction coming up, so we are merging out of our typical lane. And we were planning correctly, and then for a second it wanted to go that way. All right, now we are completely driving on the wrong side of the road, but it's perfect in this situation. Again, would B12 ever do this? I don't think so. Now across, we're, we definitely don't want to go to the right. We want to continue straight through this detour. All right, we got the green light, the green protected left arrow, and we're still going in the wrong lane. Beta is on the auto uh, set speed offset too, so it is controlling all of the speed. It's controlling everything, actually. Now I'm pull, I did pull up Teslify here. The latest update that was um, preparing to go out is 8.12, but I believe 8.14 is going to be... Ooh, that was close to that pole. But 8.14 is supposed to be the one with the new UI, and I really hope that this 12.3.4 or the next branch of FSD gets pushed to that so everyone can stop waiting. All right, now we have our construction ending there. Very good. So human-like. It's like construction, zero, Tesla, one. Doing amazing. But yeah, hopefully on that next update, you get everyone waiting for the trial. Everyone waiting to get this new update gets it soon because it is sweet. You will never look back at V11 again. The end-to-end -end neural nets, the way it smooths out all the steering. It's just fantastic. Let's see if we can add in another turn here. Navigate to Walgreens. I think there's a Walgreens pretty close by that we can uh, hit. Ooh, we are going, we are speeding up. We're in a 45, so we're doing about 49. I just kind of felt that acceleration as I was looking over here. Let's just leave it on the same route. I do want to see how it manages this intersection. Right here at Sea Strand Park. Yeah, on, on some of my beta videos a while back, someone was saying something like, don't speed in North Las Vegas. Trust me, I used to live out here. I tell you, I had that Honda Civic with the exhaust, and they do not like that. I guess you would say I was into the tuner cars, right? And the exhaust was loud, so my bad. I right, got the right blinker on, great trajectory, good speed. Still a little braking, a little too early, but that was better than I've seen. Now, got the red light. I can't see to my left yet. All right, I can see now. We have one car, but it looks far enough away that we can clear the gap. Okay, we do have a fire or ambulance. Okay, that's police. We're going on green. So as soon as I heard that cop car, I thought it was an ambulance. I'm looking around, but 
I wanted to see how it would uh, interact with the fire truck. Probably not at all. Okay, this guy's pulling in. FSD's cruising. No problems. Wow, you can still see snow caps on the mountain and it's 85 degrees here in Vegas. It is warming up. We are getting close to summer, but it keeps going back from summer to spring to winter, to winter to spring to summer, and I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some wild seasons this year. Just unseasonally weird. Now what I think we're gonna do is, we're gonna go this route, hop on the freeway, and merge onto the freeway back over there. Okay, so it is gonna route us straight to this right. Let's see if FSD can pull it off. Got the arrow on. There is a car coming up. And it looks like we are gonna take it. And we did have enough room from that van behind us. You can see it there on the side blinker. So, I mean, I did not I did tell it to do it, so. But I wanted it to reroute us so we can take this next route towards the freeway, hop on and off the freeway. While the freeway drives can be a little boring at times, I tell you what, entering, exiting the freeway, still very exciting, that's for sure. Let's go this way, very good. And just curious, if you had to choose one, Cafe Rio or Chipotle, what do you choose? They've been competing lately. Cafe Rio is doing this whole new thing with bowls, but they just cannot compete on the rice. I feel like Chipotle is very authentic. Four-way stop sign. Full stop. Yeah, about six to eight inches away from that curb. Not bad. Merging lanes. I love the quick ch uh, lane change. When it's acting aggressive, it feels confident. Right turn coming up. And as always, I'll let you know if I intervene with any pedal presses, any steering wheel controls, takeovers. So far, so good. I feel like I haven't had to do much too much accelerator presses. Did I do any today? This is definitely the 100 day challenge. 100 videos in 100 days. All right, we are we are clear to the left. So this was kind of an interesting situation. That car actually ended up slowing down and stopping at the light, but he was coming fast to the point where I kind of, you could hear, even hear it in my voice, I hesitated. Like, if Beta's gonna go, we need to go. But Beta pulled out confident. I had my foot near the pedal. I didn't have to use it. But then that car had the light. So I guess they saw me pulling out and they ended up having to catch the light. It looked like they wanted to run it though. They were coming fast. So I feel like those are kind of the edge cases is when you have a human driver uh, running red lights and doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing. It's like, how do you correct for that, right? FSD is definitely safer though because I've been on the, the freeway many times and cars will come up fast behind me and it actually is uh, very alert, responsive. Okay, there's a lane change problem again. I think I'm just going to stop talking about the lane changes down below for sure. Got the green light. So this one's kind of like a double green. We're on the outside lane. first moved here to Las Vegas they were just finishing up the Aliante Casino doing their grand opening this whole freeway was brand new they were just finishing it all right we got the green protected left 2.2 miles till our destination six minutes we are headed to Chipotle kind of on the line a little bit there does that every single time too merging into traffic. With the good acceleration, it does tend to keep itself out of trouble a lot. I've noticed that. And it, it does a, a really great job right now path planning into it. So if it has a slower car or a faster car, I've noticed. I haven't had no problems entering the freeway lately. 
The V12 stack is just so much better performer. Uh, we are clear behind. Slow, actually someone's coming up. And again, this behavior is, I don't know if it's new or old, but it's definitely uh, a V12 issue where it doesn't change lanes mer merging out of the freeway. It just kind of follows the, the lane ending, which I don't like, because if you got fast traffic, you could get into some serious trouble. just in general my overall sentiment about FSD I, I don't know sometimes I might give it a hard time right but I absolutely love this stuff am I a Tesla fanboy probably but am I a Tesla product lover absolutely I could care less about the politics to tell you the truth I just like the products and yes does the politics get to me sometimes absolutely but you know I've learned to not worry about crap I can't control so all I can't control is putting in that reservation for the new performance model as soon as it releases any day now by the time you see this video it'll probably be released i am i think i'm a couple videos ahead right now on my 100 day challenge all right we got the green light we're on the outside lane which is the perfect lane to be in have i told you that fsd's been breaking for every yellow light it sees very quickly and i'm glad we didn't get one there you do see the little red on the indicators for your blind spot. Great trajectory into that third lane. So human like and natural. Even watching the car behind me did it exactly the same. Now we're going to let it pull us into the shopping center. Let it pull us near the Chipotle and see if we can get into that burrito loney zone for the first time ever. If not, I will try to do an auto park if we can, if uh, it's not too busy in there. Auto park needs some work. It gets in there, but it's a little slow. All right, we're slowing way too early here. Why don't we just stop here? That's how I feel. <laughs> I don't know. Whose video are they watching? My, You know, I mean, like, seriously. They're not watching my video because I am a quicker driver. Alright, I did like that transition. There was no stop sign, but it did pull in perfectly. And we need to turn left here. A little hesitant. It says autopilot navigation complete. Press accelerator to resume. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this lady with her uh, F-150 go. And then the Audi stole my burrito loading zone, I think. Actually, we got a spot right here, so I'm gonna pull up. As soon as I hit the brake, we should start seeing the spots open up. Let's just stop right here, hit the brake, one, two, go. So the, the quickness is fast to uh, press it, but it, as soon as it starts, it, this is a little slow. Again, we should be able to pull in that in one shot. I could do it. I feel like FSD's been just doing uh, two shots every single time. Like right here, it gets hesitant and then it doesn't merge correctly, although this one might pull it off. It did it. I think that's my second auto park on one shot. And thank you so much for watching. If you like the videos, hit that subscribe button. Leave me your feedback. That's super important for me. And smash that like button. See you on the next one.